हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज हर्षिता भार्गव फ्रॉम चित्कारा स्कूल ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एक्सपेंशन थ्रू इंटीग्रेशन दैट मींस हाउ ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस एक्सपैंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन स्ट्रेटजीज सो इंटीग्रेशन मींस कंबाइनिंग डिफरेंट पार्ट्स टू फॉर्म अ होल और टू वर्क टुगेदर integration during product development process in which different components are combined and problems are addressed basically in integration strategies we combine our resources our products and services so as to expand and grow our business accordingly integration strategies can be divided into two parts one is horizontal integration and other is vertical integration so when an organization takes up the same time of type of product at the same level of production or marketing process it is said that organization is following horizontal integration or in other words when an organization combine its resources at the same level of the business with other business or among themselves then it is said to have horizontal integration next is vertical integration so when an organization starts making new products that serve its own needs then vertical integration takes place any new activity undertaken with the purpose of either supplying inputs or serving customers for outputs then we can say vertical integration takes place vertical integration can be divided into further two parts backward integration and forward integration so when an organization is supplying inputs like raw material or machines or other inputs to its business then we can say backward integration is taking place and when an organization serves its customers by supplying some output factors then we would say forward integration is taking place so that was about integration strategies now we will learn the other expansion strategy which is diversification strategy so when new products are made for new markets then diversification takes place we can say under diversification strategies newness of product or market or both takes place by adopting diversification an organization does something novel in terms of making products or serving new customers or new markets or doing both at the same time then diversification strategies takes place diversification strategies can further be divided into two parts one is concentric diversification and other is conglomerate diversification so if the new business is in any way related to the existing or original business in terms of its customer groups customer functions alternative technologies then we can say it is concentric diversification that means now we are we as a business are concentrating our resources and our product to markets which in any way is related to the existing product markets or existing product on the other hand conglomerate diversification is that in which an organization takes up those activities which are totally unrelated to its existing business definition or which are in any way not related to its existing or original business definition then we would say it's conglomerate diversification for example if a business is doing business in food and beverages now this business is thinking to open up with textile business then it is going to start up a totally new venture 
with textile business, it would be said to be a conglomerate diversification. Whereas we have studied about concentric diversification, in that case our new business or our new products are related to the existing business or existing products. Let's say now this business which is serving food and beverages is serving only Punjabi cuisines. Now this business is thinking to serve Mexican cuisines to its customers. Now in this case what this business is doing? Now in case of concentric diversification this business is providing new products and services which are related to its existing products. So this was the difference between concentric and conglomerate diversification. Next is why diversification strategies are adopted. So diversification strategies are generally adopted to minimize risk by spreading it over several businesses. Or we can say we are spreading the risk over several businesses so as to make earnings or so as to grow and expand the business. Diversification may be used to maintain capabilities so as to maximize organizational strengths and minimize weaknesses. Diversification helps in that also. Diversification may be the only way out if growth in existing business is blocked due to environmental and other regulatory factors. Remember, we have studied about pestle analysis. So, due to pestle analysis, there may be some problems for existing business or due to pestle factors, there may be some risk to the existing or there may be some dangers to the existing business. So diversification could be the only way out for growth. So this was all about expansion through integration and diversification strategies. Thanks for watching.